Hi guys, uh, today I'm going to do an unboxing of a Canon Rebel T3i. Um, as you can see I just got it today, it came from Amazon. Um, you can see it's, uh, this is, one of the reasons I really got it for is because of the HD 1080, right there, if you can see it, okay. Um, I want to throw, I want to actually, I'm going to start using this for my YouTube videos. Um, here we got some specs that it works on Windows and Mac. Hey, is that a good thing? All these stupid certifications. Okay, so it's a simple box. Let's throw this away. All right. It came with this in the box. I guess, I don't know if it comes with it or whatever. I guess the guy included it. I didn't even notice that. It's a crappy 4 gig. I'm going to put a 32 at least or a 64. All right, so this is the warranty. I think this is the one for the camera. And I think this is the one for the lens, one or, one or the other. But it's a warranty. Here's the software. I don't know if one's Mac or one's Windows. This is for Mac. It says this is for Windows and Mac. But I'm going to download anything, everything from the website anyways. Okay. Mm, the manuals. Two manuals. Um, Alright, I just want to stop for a second and let you guys know... One of the reasons that uh, I chose this camera over the 5100 is because of its zoom capabilities. So I don't have to have a zoom lens in it and I can actually zoom to 10x but um, up to 3x very very clear, 10x very sketchy. But still it's, it's a 10x that you might need in a moment where you don't want to change a lens and don't, don't, don't want to... Uh, don't have the time for it. Um, okay, so the next thing we got here is seems to be the power cord. Okay, power cord. We got hey the Canon strap, so you could strap on. We got the video cables for the TV. We got oh. What's this? The charger. Okay. And, uh, just slipped out the battery with a cover. Yay, so you have somewhere to put your battery. Like, I'm going to use this cover ever again. Well, it's nice to have, I guess. It's small, actually. This compared to the next level up is actually a smaller camera. So the next level up camera, which is the D600 will do supposedly two times the battery. Oh, and here's the baby. There we go. Wait, before we pull that out, we have... What is this? Just regular home USB cables. I guess this is what you plug it into the computer or... Or, I don't know. Let's put that aside. And here we come. This is a very, very crappy lens, I heard. Because it's a starter lens. But I don't have any lenses, so this will be my first lens. Look how clean that is. It's an 1855mm lens. Okay. And you can unscrew it. I heard you're supposed to keep this area clean so you it doesn't mess with your camera. So that's a tip I just picked up. And now we're going to start moving on to the last and major piece, the body. It comes with this nice, like, uh, feels almost like, I don't know. Here we go. This is what you guys wanted to see. T3i EOS. In other countries, it's actually called the 600D. Okay, right here we have... Um, what is this? Oh, the memory card slot. See it? There we go. Memory card slot. And... The behind... I guess this is uh, all the different buttons. It has a uh, one of the advantages over the T32 is a smaller body 
and it has um, swivelly th things so you can do video recording a lot easier okay so if you have to put it over a head in a concert or something like that over here you got the HDMI you got the AV out okay HDMI for TV that's pretty cool you can show the family after you take photos you got the uh, headphone and microphone jack the external microphone more professional so you could do some nice uh, movies on this okay on top we got the swivelly thing luckily there's no lock on this a lot of people don't like the model that has the lock on it it's kinda cool because you get quick to anything right the hot shoot and the viewfinder they say it's a smaller viewfinder than the next model up but most people say when you're using it you don't even notice it so alright like I said the best thing about this versus the uh, the Nikon if you're you're deciding is Nikon might have a little bit better ISO filtering but this one version actually has better video mode and also uh, a cleaner video mode and it also has the 10 times zoom which is something nice so okay hopefully the next D600 or D60 will have this feature alright thanks thanks guys I'll be talking more about this and other videos subscribe bye bye